Hi there, we're here in Rycroft, which is a very nice cul-de-sac situated off Wood Ride, just south of Victoria Park and the town centre. And I'm about to show you around number 34, which is one of the larger designed two bedroom houses in this cul-de-sac. Um, as you can see, these ones here, they're three beds. These are mainly two beds, but the two beds do vary in size. So some are actually a lot narrower and smaller than the one I'm about to show you. As you can see, plenty of parking in the cul-de-sac. However, there are car parks in various points in the, in the close uh, where everyone's got allocated parking. So one car park there, another one down here, and there's one around the corner. Um, geographically, great location here. You're very close to the town centre. Victoria Park is nearby if you just want to get outside. And if you want to walk down to the station, Victoria Park makes a very nice direct route straight up to South Road and the Broadway. And that's your shortcut to the station. So that's less than a mile. It's about 0.8 of a mile walk to the station from here. Um, so come inside, let's have a look around. So we've got a, a two bedroom terrace house. Uh, it's been uh, rented out. It's just been given a uh, makeover. So it's been redecorated, some new carpets and flooring. Kitchen's all been revamped as well. And the bathroom's not that old either. So as mentioned, this is one of the larger design houses. So I'll point that out as we go. Little handy cupboard here. I just noticed you've got a new electric consumer unit there. That's a metal one, so that's all, all been updated. Living room, good size bit of space. You'll see, like I say, if you look up, if you're if you're one of those right move junkies or property analysts, look at measurements and square footage. You'll see this is the desired bigger house. It doesn't look that big when it's empty. I hate showing people around empty houses because they always say, oh, isn't it small? Um, especially bedrooms. People think bedrooms are quite small and a double bed is a massive piece of furniture. It actually isn't. Kitchen, as mentioned, this has all been revamped. So all been nicely done. You've got a handy um, uh, cupboard there with a gas boiler. I don't know how old that is, but that's not very old. And then the garden, fabulous garden. I think you make it about 28 feet by about 13, 14 feet wide. But a nice garden and you've got the rear gate there. So if you've got to bring machinery and stuff around you can. Just gonna take my shoes off. Now schooling, if you've got children, you can walk to several primary schools from here. We've got uh, the Warden Park Primary Academy. We've got St. Joseph's, which is the Roman Catholic Primary School and St. Wilfrid's. And you could also cut through the woods, uh, Ashen Ground Woods through to Bolnor Village, which has got a primary school there as well. And this side of town, children fall into the catchment area for Warden Park Secondary Academy. So this is the main bedroom. Looking back into the close, good spot and a very handy cover. This has all been painted, so these doors have all been left open to let them dry properly. But a handy wardrobe there. Bathroom, as mentioned, all been revamped as well. So a nice white suite, tiled walls with a window for natural ventilation. And of course, the back bedroom, still a nice size second bedroom. And that's overlooking the back. So these houses behind us here, these are the back gardens of the houses on Park Road or Haywards Road. And again, plenty of wardrobes here. I'm assuming one of these might have the tank in it. Is that all sticky? No. Oh yeah, there's the tank in there. So it's a traditional gas boiler with a normal tank. So there you go. That is number 34 Rycroft. It's a two bedroom terraced house. One of the larger designs. It's got allocated parking, but plenty of parking in the cul-de-sac. It's a sale with no chain. So if you want to move quickly or certainly be in before Christmas, there's no reason why you couldn't be. Um, it still needs a little bit of money spent on it, but is very much ready to move into. And does have that rather nice garden. So if you'd like to have a look, get in touch with Manson McTaggart and please register with us direct and subscribe to this YouTube channel as these videos are all live on there before it's on Rightmove. Thanks for watching.